Hey everyone, I'm Bill and this is my air gun range. I'm back at the range today. I took a day off by playing a little bit of hooky. Uh, hopefully my boss won't find out. Oh wait a minute, I'm the boss, so I guess it doesn't matter. But uh, it's too nice of a day on a Friday here to, uh, to be working. So I'm out here at the range and I'm with my new favorite toy. Uh, this is the Epix 2 um, air gun, the 700 millimeter barrel. I made a, a video just recently. Um, I was shooting this uh, rifle out to 500 yards. I was able to get uh, five impacts at a 12 inch gong five times in a row. Um, today I was just messing around with it, uh, trying a bunch of different tunes. Uh, I'm shooting both tail slugs again. I'm shooting actually today, I'm, uh, I'm shooting the 0 0.253 50 grain ABS both tail slugs. Um, I got a really awesome tune going here today. Uh, let me put a picture of that on for you. Um, let's see here, get this real quick. All right, so uh, I'm shooting these today at 909 feet per second with uh, with five shots. I have a spread of zero. I don't think I ever ever had um, a rifle to have uh, a spread of zero. I mean, I've had two, three, something like that, but this rifle um, I got consistently um, a spread of zero. Um, right now I have the regs set at 100 and about 82. I was going back up and down a little bit between looked like like 175 to 185. And uh, messing with the hand to hammer um, doesn't have a real fine adjustment, it kind of has a click. So uh, I maxed it out and then I went like three little clicks back, is where I have the best tune going right now. So uh, I just been playing out here. Um, I was just banging steel at 500 yards, all the different ranges, no problem. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go back to 50 yards and I set up cans all the way down the range from 50 yards all the way up to 500 yards as I want to see if I can just have some fun and, and uh, knock these cans, blow these cans up all the way out. Um, what I do with a rifle like this, um, I sight in at 50 yards, and then what I do, I think sometimes people kind of make fun of me because I don't really shoot groups, but um, I get it decent at 50 yards, and then I go right up to 300 yards, and then I try to get it really good at 300 yards, and that way at 300 yards is how I figure out my BC. So from 50 to 300 yards, uh, once you make that calculation, I use a Stralac Pro, and I get my BC, and then I'll go right out to 500 yards and verify that. And then I'm using a cold shot, which I kind of never explained before, but uh, the cold shot is very high off the barrel. So um, what I have to do is I have to make kind of an average, and I have to use a different scope height the farther I go out, because when you crank up this the, uh, the hair of arms cold shot, the scope comes way down. So the actual distance from the barrel to the scope is different. Um, so what I do is I kind of make an average, and that's why sometimes if you notice at like 120 yards, I might be a little bit off, but I'm trying to get an average of all these ranges so that I can hit a decent sized target, maybe something like, you know, a three or four inch target all the way out through the whole course. Um, if I do the exact calculations, I'm going to be off at different ranges because my scope height changes quite a bit between 50 yards and out to 500 yards. So that's kind of a trick that I do. I kind of have an average, and I know just from playing with different rifles, um, this is actually uh, like almost three and a half inches off the barrel. I'm using an average of 2.75, and that gets me really close through the whole range. Um, if I want to be real precise, if I was going to you know, try to shoot groups at 200 or 300, I would change the barrel uh, height, I mean the scope height, to the exact um, distance off it. But um, I always like to kind of go from you know, 50 yards and then stretch it all the way out. I like to play with it, be able to shoot 50 yards to 250, back to 200 to 300, and make my calculations and, and then be, you know, close enough uh, uh, to be able to hit my targets. So I like to hit my targets I don't necessarily need, or um, I like to have a real uh, precise group, but I kind of just want to be able to hit the stuff out here at the targets. And, and uh, when you get it real close, you can do balloons out from 50 yards to 500, no problem. But So anyways, I'm going to load up. Um, as I said in my other video, the uh, this mag... The bow tail slugs will fit in there and they'll rotate, but um, this gun and, and the same thing with some of my other rifles, um, I have the same problem with my, um, what is it there, uh, my RTI. Um, with any of the rifles that have a really skinny pin probe, the pin probe, because of these bow tails, the ends are kind of tapered. So when they're sitting in the mag, if the pin probe doesn't uh, line up perfectly straight, it, it, you can't really load them, so I kind of have to mess around with the uh, with the mag. Um, the way these mags are set, if, if they were made a little bit different, I think that they would cycle the uh, the bow tails a little bit better. So um, I was able to work it yesterday, kind of just 
fiddling with a little bit to be able to get it to uh, get the bags to work. But uh, I did get it jammed, so I'm not going to mess around with that today. So I'm going to just load one at a time for today. Um, we're at zeroed in at 50 yards right now. I'm going to get the big camera going here, and I'm just going to blow up some cans. I'm going to try from 50 yards all the way to 500. We'll see what we can do. All right, so let me get the camera going here. We'll start at 50 yards. And this is what I do for fun. I just like to, I like to blow things up. <laughs> I like balloons, cans, and eggs. All right, so let me get to 50 yards. All right, we got a can right there. We'll start at 50 yards. We'll blow up that can real quick, and then we'll move it right out to 500 yards. All right, so here we go. 50 yards. And if I miss, um, I'm just going to go home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get in there. 50 yards. Blow that sucker up. There's one. All right, so we already got the BC in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right to 100 yards. 100 yards is, it should be two point something. 2.4. Two point four. I'm not gonna do anything for spin drift. Uh, this gun actually has a different spin drift than a lot of my other rifles. Um, some of the rifles uh, have a really big spin drift. This rifle doesn't seem to have much of a spin drift at all for some reason. Not really sure why the CZ barrel is different than some other ones, but here we go. Ooh, 100 yards. Move the camera. This is so much better than work. Where the heck did I got that can? I know I set up a can there. Let me see if I can see it. Maybe it's behind the grass here. Oh, there it is. All right, you got the can right next to the, where is that there? Right underneath the 100 yard sign. And it's kind of a little bit of, a little bit of grass in the camera here. But we should be able to see this flash. All right, here we go. Did I already load it? I think I did, so. If I didn't, I'll have to reload. Here we go. Hand is going at 100 yards. All right, we'll move right up to 200. Nine point one. All right. So we got six, seven, eight, nine point one. The um, I'm using the Harris Arms cold shot. Um, so what I do is, um, when I zeroed in originally, I do it with the scope, but then I don't touch the elevation of the scope anymore, and I just use the, uh, the elevation knob here on the, on the cold shot. All right, so we're at 200 yards. I'm going to, it's saying to do one to left for spin drift. We'll see what we can do with that. I got to be a little bit careful with that because, um, if I do too much for the spin drift, I'll be off, and I noticed that, uh, when I was practicing earlier here. All right, so... Go to 200 yards. Zoom it in there if we can. All right, here we go. Can is down at 200 yards. All right, we're going to go to 250. 13. I always like to start back at zero so I don't make a mistake. Six. 12, 13, and I'm just going to go one more to the left, we'll see how that looks. I might be off a little bit, like I said, I'm not, I've only been shooting, this is the second time shooting this rifle, I'm not, I don't have the spin drift drawn 100% yet, and there's a tiny, tiny breeze, not much at all, so let's see what we can do here. Move the camera to 300, I'm sorry, what do we got, 250. Move the camera to 250. All right, that looks good. Let's try 250. Here we go. Where are you? There you are. Can is gone at 250. All right, we'll go to 300. 
You guys always hear me winding this up because I always go back to zero because I make mistakes a lot. I leave the words, I forget, and I do the wrong calculation. So. Six, 12, I'll go right to 18, and then back one, 17.2. And I'm just going to go one more to the left just to see where we are. I got a feeling I'll be off to the left and right on this one just a little bit. And if I do, I'll just make a correction. All right. Got to move the camera again. If I see the impact, we'll make a little correction. Here we go. Can is gone at 300 yards. All right, so let's go out to 400 yards now. All right, is the camera going at 400 yards? Here we go. That's 26.3 over the target. Yeah, recording, yes we are. See how close we are. Just in front of it. Can is gone 40 yards. All right, now we got to move out to 500 yards. All right, so my GoPro battery died. I'm not sure where that died. I didn't see when it stopped blinking, but um. Hopefully I got to 400 yards. We're now at 500 yards. The calculation for 500 yards is 36.8. Um, I got the camera going here. Let's record. All right, so we're going for a soda can at 500 yards. Let's make an attempt. If I can see the impact, then uh, we'll make a correction. And hopefully I can get a can. Let's see how many shots it takes. Here we go. so close it almost touched it just a matter of time before I get it come on oh I rolled it down the hill <laughs> damn it all right well um yeah it's too far down the hill I can't see it now uh, well at least I touched it that was in the ballpark so uh, it is what it is. I uh, rolled the can at 500 yards, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't blow it up. But anyways, you can see that's uh, getting pretty close there. Um, that would be hitting that gong, no problem. Uh, I think most of those shots would have hit the gong. The first couple were right next to the can, and the other one was just below it and rolled it down the hill. So that's going to do it for today. Um, this gun is a pretty darn cool gun. Um, this thing is a monster, though. This is not a gun that you're going to be wanting to carry around. I mean this. I gotta look it up, but this thing is a heavy, heavy gun. It's it's a tank, but um, yeah, it shoots awfully good. And I'm gonna be getting a bunch of other slugs in the test. Um, these things are shooting pretty well. These Botel slugs are shooting great. I have not tried any regular slugs yet. I got some different sizes coming in that I'll do some more testing with. Um, I know I always say that I'm gonna try some groups, but um, I, I will try some closer stuff with some uh, regular slugs here um, in the next week or so. My slugs. That's going to do it for today. So, until next time. Bye bye. Oh, I rolled it down the hill. <laughs> Damn it.